All right, what's going on, Sessionauts? It's June from Sessionautics, and today we have the founder of Videoform, one of the founders. There's three co-founders in total, and you might already know about them because they also had a really cool SaaS product uh, earlier, and maybe we can talk about that briefly as well. Uh, Abhishek, I have Abhishek here from Videoform. Thank you for joining us, Abhishek. Thanks, June. Uh, uh, thanks for having me. This is wonderful <laughs> to uh, be here. Yeah, it's awesome to have you here. I know you guys are really busy because there's some big news that came out about your last SaaS, and we'll we'll talk about that really briefly. And you have this awesome new SaaS coming out, and a few of our members has already seen the power of it and what it can do because I made a little short, uh, <laughs> funny little video form with it, and um, I've used it for the first time myself over the last few days, and it is awesome. So today we want to talk about video form. Uh, but Abhishek, can you give us a quick brief about yourself, who you are, um, and also mention uh, your background? So the last SAS before video form, because I think not everyone knows that you've also created another awesome product. Um, so yeah, can you give us a little bit of information? Sure. Hey, so June, uh, so everybody, hi, first of all, uh, thanks for having me, June. And uh, so I'm Abhishek, I'm the founder of videoform.com. Uh, so uh, so I've been into this marketing space for about five years now. So we've ran uh, a digital marketing agency. The three founders, the three of us, uh, me, Anirudh, and uh, Dinesh. So we ran an agency for about two years. And then uh, for about a year, year and a half, uh, we launched a, a SaaS product uh, in the marketing space. Uh, basically, it collects data and uh, it shows you on beautiful looking dashboards and reports. It's called uh, Gray Metrics. So we launched it uh, in January of 2020. And uh, uh, last week, I think uh, we finalized uh, the sale of Gray Metrics uh, to another party uh, based in the US. Congratulations. So, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so and from the, oh, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. It wasn't the exit that we, we would like it to be, but I think uh, it's great for our users uh, that they're going to have a wonderful team behind uh, Gray Metrics right now. Mm. Yeah. And for those who haven't seen uh, Gray or don't know about Gray Metrics, go check it out. And uh, of course, there there was an exit, but the people that have taken it over, I think it was Invisible PPC. Is that correct? That's correct. Yes. Uh, very, uh, very well known. And I think they'll take great care of it. And, you know, uh, Abhishek and the co-founders, they wouldn't have left it in irresponsible hands. So you can definitely trust the future of great metrics. But today we are talking about video form. So um, I know that Abhishek has taken his uh, time to create a presentation on how to use, how to leverage video form for your business. And so uh, Abhishek, I will give you access to share your screen. Can you share your screen and uh, run us through your presentation? Awesome. All right. So yeah, this is the presentation. So we're just going to uh, see how to use video form uh, for your business. So uh, like I just shared uh, previously, I just uh, take one uh, moment to uh, just talk about you know what we did previously. So we are uh, we were a digital marketing agency for about two years. We worked with about 50 clients, uh, both domestic and international. We had some great results. Uh, and our discussions with our clients led us to this new software called graymetrics.com. Uh, that was uh, like the a high performer uh, in G2 for about two uh, consecutive uh, terms. Wow. Uh, summer and fall uh, this year in 2020. Mm -hmm. It's not too far away, of course. So <laughs> it's a very recent uh, high performer in the marketing analytics category, which is mm -hmm. which is a very tough one. Mm -hmm. So we sold this previous software uh, now to Invisible PPC, like I just mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we are uh, a small team of about seven folks. And uh, we are part of uh, this SaaS-focused accelerator in India called as Upeka. Uh, sorry, can you say that one more time? Because I don't know it. Uh, it's, it's Upeka, U-P-E. Ah, okay. okay, I'll check it out. <laughs> oh, it's right here. Sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you pick up. Okay. So uh, that's a little bit about uh, us. Mm -hmm. So first of all, video form is not another chatbot. So we've had too many chatbots right now, and uh, this is not another chatbot. Mm -hmm. So uh, the whole idea that uh, about video form is uh, why it's not a chatbot is chatbots just speak one language, and they, they say, I don't know that a lot. Mm -hmm. So... I, I think uh, we could do a little better than that. I think that that was the whole idea that we actually came up with this idea of video form. So what is video form? I think uh, I've seen a lot of questions in the group uh, which yes. says, hey, what is video form? We don't seem to understand what it is. I mean, we don't seem to get it. Mm -hmm. So if I had to put it in like one or two sentences, so it would be like add a personal touch to your business. Mm 
mm. whether you're in marketing whether you're in recruitment whether you're in sales this, this whole idea of the pandemic has like disconnected us all the whole idea now is all about putting that personal touch back into your business because you're the face of your own businesses mm -hmm. so if you put that personal touch back you'll be able to reap higher rewards uh, than uh, people who prefer to be robotic mm -hmm. so that's the whole idea behind uh, video form and uh, the whole idea is to add the personal touch to your business so this is uh, something that we have on our own website uh, where uh, uh, we add a personal touch and uh, we show up a human face and uh, we ask users to respond with another video so mm. it's more of a conversation so that, that's the whole point of video form so i hope i was able to cover a little bit here i will be going a little deeper uh, as we go along nice okay june if you have any questions uh, please feel free to interrupt me at any point and uh, we'll just dive deeper into it absolutely and anyone else watching in right now if you have any questions leave a comment if we don't get back to you during the call because abhishek is busy presenting and i am busy learning uh, about video form uh fret not because we will get back to you and we're going live in several groups so there's no way we're going to be um is to be able to see everything uh but we will get back to you so don't worry about it mm -hmm. all right so uh first of all i mean so why video is the big question that everybody asks me so i think uh so there's like unlimited i mean there's like innumerable uh, number of examples uh, that are out there but there's a couple of them that uh, i would like to put out there mm -hmm. so uh, that is by insevia and unbounce that video basically helps retain the message by about 95% of the times and increases the conversion rates on landing pages mm -hmm. so these are the two key things at least as marketers and sales people for us that uh, why video is so powerful and i think Uh, most of you i think if not all uh, would agree that video is going to be the future and i think uh, it's going to be only more and more yes so that's that's why uh, video is uh, the key so how can you use it i think let's just cut to the chase i think uh, all this uh, said and done i think <laughs> at, at the end of the day you just want to know how you can use it yes so let's just try to it so this is uh, so we we been used to a landing page where uh, uh, we've seen lots of good images lots of good reforms etc etc and all that stuff so let me show you a completely different set of a, a landing page which uh, doesn't have any of it I'll just click on this and uh, let me just uh, uh, load this right away mm -hmm. okay this is right here so this is the landing page that you would actually uh, take your uh, users to when they land on uh, your landing page this is the landing page that you'll take them to mm -hmm. so this is some, something that i created for uh, a car dealership so uh if you're looking for a car and you just land up on this page so this is how you go about it so if you're looking for a brand new car or a used car i'll just ask this question and i'll just say a brand new car and uh what's your price range okay i'm looking for something about 50k okay uh you have any preference or something like that i say maybe a tesla yeah good choice i mean <laughs> do you have any particular preferences so let me let me answer this question again uh, with a video and i'm going to do that right now I'm going to say, hey, uh, I I like a Tesla, but I would like to know if I have to travel about 500 miles or so, uh, would Tesla work for me? Because I live in uh, a certain area and all that. So I just recorded this video, and I'm uh, I, I I'm going to send this video out. So I'm going to fill my information in. So that's it. Mm. So this is a completely different experience from what we are used to, where you know. there's a form thrown at our face and we just have to just fill it mm -hmm. so instead what we are actually trying to do here is we're trying to make the landing pages super interactive so mm -hmm. that users don't feel like this is a chore anymore mm -hmm. so that's the whole idea of an interactive uh, video form used as a landing page uh, right here mm -hmm. yeah so, it's great um one of the points that we mentioned a few times in the groups and also on our deal page and and some of the videos and just personally thinking about it is as you mentioned yeah video is king it is the future and also interactive content and personalization is a big trend uh and it's a trend because it works right uh and then to combine that with video you know enough said there's not there's nothing else to say there right <laughs> <laughs> I think so too. But let's just see something more. Yes, that's that's more important. So, uh, how do you collect video feedback? So th this is a, a very important. Uh, uh, this is a key element for a lot of folks. I think uh, when companies want to collect feedback, and especially when they want a video feedback, they want to know exactly what you're saying. Mm. They want to see what exactly you're saying and all that. So typically, what happens is, I mean, uh, in in the pre-video form era. so this is what happened so you send an email to your customer you send a feedback email 
and the user uh, had to download a video software or something like that and then they record a video and then they get a link and then they email all that links to you so th this is what happened previously now what you would exactly do is you would send a video form link user records the testimonial right there and you get the feedback right then right away yes so this there's, there's no software there's no link there's no nothing out there so you, they just record and you get it instantly mm -hmm. that's the whole uh, point that i'm trying to make there so i'm just going to show you a little bit uh, let me just uh, open this link out mm -hmm. and uh, show you one more time on uh, how this uh, feedback works so this is something that uh, we can, we constantly keep sending our uh, users i mean after they cross a certain threshold so could you say a few words about video form this is the link that we sent across and uh, i can respond with a video i can respond with an audio and i can send in a text too so if i respond with uh, a video uh, this gets stored right away in my dashboard so uh, like i did previously i could just uh, say that hey this is a great tool we love this uh, could you build like some three or four uh, more modules on top of this we would love to see that it just uh, say that hey this, this is a great tool so i'm going to submit this and i'm going to like share my information mm -hmm. so this end screen uh, that you're getting here this can be customized so i'm going to show you how this dashboard works a little bit uh, maybe in the next webinar or something like that yes yes okay. all right so this is a little bit about you know how you can actually collect video feedback uh, from your users so this is something killer uh, that we have uh, created Yes. Sending personalized video emails from uh, Gmail and HubSpot. Mm. So, uh, what we do is, uh, we, I mean, once you start using Video Form and then uh, you have uh, our Chrome extension installed on your uh, on your browser. Mm. So, like I have here, this is uh, the Chrome extension that I have here. So, I just go to Gmail and uh, you'll see that uh, a button just directly gets added out to my Gmail. Mm. It says add video to my email. So, I can click on a compose button. Uh, and then I can directly add a video to my email from right here. So basically what I do is I just uh, record a video from right here. So I have all of these uh, videos right here. Mm -hmm. So I can just uh, pick up a video and just add this directly to my email. Mm -hmm. So these are all the videos that I previously had. So let me just remove that. And let me just show you. Okay. So let me just uh, record a new video right here from inside Gmail. Yes. So I can like start recording right here and I can add this to my email right away. Hey, June, this is great uh, talking to you. Uh, this is wonderful uh, being on screen with you. To my email right away. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to uh, add this to the email that we have. And uh, you, you can basically use this effectively to hyper personalize what you have. Yes. Hyper personalize your sales outreach emails to a level that has never been done before. Mm -hmm. So this, you can do all of this uh, from inside Gmail and you can also do this from inside of HubSpot. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to uh, go anywhere out and these buttons uh, show up right away once you install our Chrome extension right there. Yeah, this is so powerful because uh, you know I have a lot of other tools also that integrate with Gmail uh, or through extensions or add-ons. And, but the fact is here, I don't have to go to videoform.com. I just do it inside my Gmail and, if, and, and the video, we saw how easy it is the way you do it. And we're on video now and I feel it, film a 10, 15 second video, send it out to my clients or some of my prospects. Uh, oh man, this is, I'm, if you guys couldn't tell, I'm, I'm not trying to just hype it up. I am really excited because I can use it myself at my agency and you'll be seeing a lot more video forms on Sashronautics because we will be using it. Um, yeah, very excited, very excited. Oh, so you can, do, yeah. you can do the same thing uh, inside HubSpot also. You can send uh, videos uh, from HubSpot to your uh, prospects, uh, to your contacts uh, from inside HubSpot. So I'm going to show you that in the next webinar that we do with the <laughs> Astronautics. Yes. <laughs> so uh, just, just be on the lookout for these buttons, by the way. huh? These mm -hmm. add video to email and this video form logo inside HubSpot. This is what you're looking for. Mm. All right. So let's talk about agencies, right? That's yeah. the most uh, important thing. So how do you engage your users or how do you convert uh, your uh, uh, contact forms uh, into an interactive uh, forms on your website? Uh, mm. Like this, I mean, whatever we've seen till now is we are adding links to Gmail, we are sending out uh, to an external link on video form. All of this is uh, different. Mm. So let me show you something which is directly on our website. 
So I'm going to open up this uh, link. Just give me one second. Mm -hmm. Right. So what I'm doing here is, so I've added this video form. I've embedded this video form right inside uh, my website. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I'm assuming uh, this guy is doing is this guy has a, a services business, an agency of a data science uh, services. So what, what he's basically asking users to do is he's giving them a choice of uh, whether if they have any questions, they can ask them directly. And if uh, they want to see what awards he's got, they can see directly. And if they want to book a meeting with him, uh, they can do it directly from inside a video form. Uh, let me show you how. So let's say, uh, and by the way, you can actually customize the look and feel of a video form. I'm just going to click on this button called full screen. Mm -hmm. And uh, this change, oh, sorry. Just uh, there's something out there. Mm -hmm. Give me one sec. So this is Matt and he runs a data science business and uh, he is looking to engage with his users. So I'm going to say, uh, Matt, I have uh, questions. So I'm just going to click on, I have questions. Say, let me know your questions and I will personally answer them. Like you can create your own videos and you can put it out there and I can answer this question with a video. I've shown this at least two, two or three times. I'm going to skip that for now. <laughs> okay. Right. And uh, let me just go back mm -hmm. and say that, hey, I want to book a meeting uh, with you. So I work with uh, uh, data obsessed companies. So let's just say, okay, let's book a time. And uh, because video form integrates directly with uh, Calendly, uh, you can embed your Calendly link in directly and uh, you can add more context to your meetings mm. uh, before they, you go on to the meeting by showing up your face and by explaining what this meeting is going to be about. Mm. So they can book a meeting. So right now it has been, uh, it's, it's redirects to my uh, uh, meeting page. So they can book a meeting with me from right here. So uh, this, uh, let me just go back here. And uh, so this is basically how uh, users can actually book a meeting with you from right inside video form. Mm. So this is another uh, interactive uh, way of doing things where you know you actually give users more context before they actually book a call with you. Yes. Mm. So, uh, and quick question yep. is, yeah, uh, Calendly is the right now the only scheduler that is integrated. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Uh, if we do get requests for other uh, schedulers, uh, we can easily integrate them. Okay. Okay. Understood. All right. All right. So uh, that's this is about engaging website visitors, uh, but that's not all. I mean, like. <laughs> 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 like this built to unleash your creativity. I, we've seen uh, a lot of folks uh, uh, use this to book more demos, like I've sh shown you on uh, the calendar link. Mm -hmm. And we've seen a lot of folks use this uh, uh, to recruit candidates. Uh, what is actually happening is the recruiters are actually putting out a video saying that, hey, why don't you just record your video message to this question and uh, we'll get in touch with you. Whoa. So this is a recruitment a sort of a use case that we're seeing uh, with where you know, they're asking candidates to send in their video uh, like pitches mm. so that they can actually screen candidates better uh, instead of uh, having a button where they can directly apply and you get many irrelevant resumes. You can actually filter through them because you're now putting up a video button and they have to show them themselves. Mm. And uh, because of the way that you can actually build workflows uh, inside video form where you can do this if then go here, go there, you can build the whole workflow. Uh, we've seen a lot of businesses are start trying uh, video forms to qualify leads before they come in. Mm. Uh, this is an example of what I've shown in the car dealership where I could build a workflow and I, I could show someone a different uh, uh, video uh, when they click on 50K plus or maybe a 70K plus uh, for sort of a car. Mm -hmm. So you can actually go ahead and you know check out this uh, link, videoform.com slash use cases and you'll find uh, quite a few use cases out there. You might find some interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a crazy Trump video also there. He's going to teach you how to become a user. <laughs> <legend. laughs> So, I will so have to check that out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's some fun, fun things that uh, you can do. Yeah. All right. So, who is this primarily for? Uh, Built this primarily for marketers and agencies. Built this primarily for sales teams and entrepreneurs. Uh, but we've seen other people using this. Uh, but primarily, what we've built this for is for marketers and for sales teams. Mm. And if you're a solopreneur or if you're, if you're a coach, mm. if you're an individual business, uh, this works best for you. Yes. All right. Yeah, so, yeah, go so, ahead. There, there's so many use cases. Uh, who is it primarily for? Yeah, marketers, sales teams, entrepreneurs. But, oh, man, it's it's video and form. Right? I mean, it's video and forms, right? Uh, there's so many different use cases for this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So I've just uh, picked out a few features that we already have, and I've just uh, listed them out here so that okay. you know you get an idea of you know uh, how this actually works. So for marketers, the uh, most important thing is like you can add CTAs on your videos, you can add call to action buttons, you can take them to uh, your own website, you can take them to any link that you actually want. Uh, you can add those uh, CTAs. I've shown you how you can embed these video forms on your own website. Mm-hmm. You can easily do that. And you can actually build workflows, the ones that you're actually used to on chatbot, where, you know, hey, go here, go here, mm-hmm. and you build the whole workflow. We made it uh, look simpler, but it's super powerful. So you can build all of these workflows, and you can customize the end screen. You can uh, collect leads, so you can send them to a link. Uh, you can customize the end screen uh, uh, of video forms right mm-hmm. now. And uh, whenever your users actually send you a video, you can actually reply to them with a video. Uh, you just have to connect your Gmail, mm. uh, just log in with your Gmail, and you can actually reply to them with your uh, with your video. Basically, keep the video conversation going, I guess. Yes. Right. And uh, Zapier and Webhook were already there. We've uh, done a completely revamp of uh, uh, video form, and it, this is the video form 2.0 that you're actually seeing. Mm-hmm. So some Zapier and some stuff have actually broken down. Uh, this will be back up again in the week or two. Mm-hmm. So this re- rework is in progress. If you actually go to Zapier, uh, video form would already be available. Okay. Uh, but uh, this this rework is in progress, and it might it will be up in the next one to two weeks. Mm-hmm. All right. And uh, for video forms, if, if if it's a separate link, the most important thing for marketers is to track using Google of Analytics course. and Facebook <laughs> Pixel. Also, add titles and descriptions. So mm-hmm. all of this is already out there on mm-hmm. video forms. You can actually do this uh, right away. And there's many more uh, for the sake of brevity and for the sake of time. I'm going to uh, cut it here mm-hmm. and I'm going to uh, go to what sales uh, people can actually do using yes. video form. You can send one on one sales video emails. Uh, you can manage your team. You can like add uh, five or 10, 50 uh, sales people that you have. You can use shared folders uh, that you can collaborate with your team. You can see who's replying and you know what kind of responses you're getting, what kind of leads you're able to generate, what kind of conversations are going on. Mm-hmm. And you can have your own private folders. Uh, where you manage the whole thing. Uh, you can also send uh, one-click video emails directly from Gmail and HubSpot. They're directly integrated uh, right now using our Chrome extension. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you're not comfortable using uh, Chrome, uh, there's a Google Workspace add-on that we already have. Uh, this is called as a G Suite add-on, yeah. uh, where you can directly activate the video form for all of your team members at one go if you are the admin. Mm-hmm. So it works exactly like I showed you. It's just a different button uh, inside Gmail. Oh. I'm going to have to try this one. Okay, cool, cool. Right. Mm-hmm. So uh, you can customize the thumbnail. I've just uh, added uh, uh, the direct video out there, but you can actually customize the thumbnail from inside video form. Mm-hmm. Uh, you will get this uh, uh, full feature uh, inside the Chrome extension also. We are uh, building that out. Mm-hmm. Uh, it integrates with Gmail. It integrates with HubSpot. Uh, f- fresh CRM, that is fresh works with CRM, and uh, uh, Salesforce integrations are actually coming soon. So you can actually do exactly what you did with uh, Gmail from inside fresh CRM and from inside Salesforce. Mm, mm, nice, nice. So it's a lot right. to take in. It's a lot to take in. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff we can do here. That's a good thing, right? <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely, absolutely a good thing. Wait, yeah. I just want to mention one more thing though, because I've been playing with it recently, is that, you know, that I just mentioned there's so many things that we can do with it uh, and it's a great thing. Uh, but I want to say that there's a lot of things you can do with it, but it's so easy to get started. Uh, and this, I was talking with Abhishek uh, and Dinesh about this, is that the UI and the UX is one, one so beautiful. This is very big for me. Uh, I'm big on UI UX. But number two is that it's not just beautiful. It's really difficult to get lost in video form. It's difficult to be like, hey, how do I do this? Because it's all right. It's, it's very well thought out, I think. Uh, and I think anyone listening in, um, we have the freebie. We have an exclusive freebie. So you can try it for free and just log in and see if you like it. And if you do like it, you know, we have a very steep uh, annual discount plan that you're grandfathered into uh, for life, right? So uh, definitely check it out. Um, but yeah, sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to cut you. I just wanted to mention that because I'm really a big fan right now. So go go ahead, Abhishek. Thank you. So I'm almost uh, finishing up. So how you how you, how can you actually use uh, video form? I just uh, shown you a couple of uh, things. You can show you can directly use a web link. I've mm-hmm. shown you this example. I've shown you an example of how you can actually embed this into your own website. Uh, but there's also another way that you can actually use it. Uh, you can actually use it as a chat uh, pop up from right inside your website. So it just loads up right here, and uh, whatever video form that you make, uh, it just shows up right here. Yes. 
So you can add this and all the workflows that you add and everything uh, will show up right from right here. So if you don't want to disturb your users and you want a video form to be in the side without disturbing any of the users, you can actually do this. Mm. So you can use it as a chat button. There are a few more things that you could do, but I think uh, for the sake of uh, time, I'm going to say that I'm going to cut it short. Uh, <laughs> yeah, to say that yeah. this is uh, all the things that you can actually do. And with the chat like widget on the site, uh, we mentioned in the very beginning, you know, this is not another chatbot, right? But technically, you can create an interactive video chatbot using that widget and making your sequences, pre-recording your video or providing using GIFs, and you can get you can get a decent flow going. Am I am I I'm not wrong here, right? You're absolutely not wrong, June. And uh, to make uh, the GIF lovers' uh, life a little easier. <laughs> <laughs> what we've actually done is we've integrated with Jiffy. So you can actually directly search from inside video form on a Jiffy and you can directly add uh, any GIF that you actually like. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm a GIF lover. So I, I really love using them and I love it when they're integrated. Uh, so, okay. I'm going to have to try that out as well. And maybe I can use that or we can use that as a case study or a use case um, with our audience as well in the coming days or weeks. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have, but uh, I think uh, like June said, I think we will probably take that a little offline. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let me see if I have a question. Um, no, not not really. Like I mentioned, it's so it's so uh, straightforward and easy to use, but not not in a bad way. Not easy to use like it's dumbed down. It's just everything's so well thought out that you're not going to get lost while you're navigating through the dashboard. So try it out. Try it out. You have to try it out. I, I'm I'm I think you're really everyone's really going to like this. All right. Well, uh, everyone listening in, if you have any other questions, I mean, we're going to end the call right after this, but uh, Abhishek and I will be going through and looking through all the comments and trying to get to everyone in all of the groups. So uh, yeah, feel free to leave a comment. And the fastest way to get replies from both Abhishek, Dinesh, and myself and people on the Sessionautics team is to join the official Sessionautics Facebook group. Uh, we are active outside of this group as well, but uh, we're just a lot more active in, a, in the official group. Um, so make sure you join the official group if you're not there yet or you're watching this from a different group. Um, Abhishek, yeah, do you have any uh, last uh, comments you want to bring up? Or um, if not, I have one more question for you. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so considering that, you know, you, you this is not your first run with a SaaS, uh, you've created and you've successfully created and exited uh, another SaaS before. Uh, and for me and Sashronautics, or Sessionautix and I, we speak with many, 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 many founders of SaaS startups or, or teams of SaaS startups. Um, and I, this is a question I always ask uh, to everyone is, do you have any advice for other innovators, creators, SaaS, SaaS founders that are just starting out? Uh, they're not where you are right now, but um, you know, obviously that path can be made uh, depending on how and, and their actions today. So. Uh, do you have any comments for everyone watching in, all the other size founders? <laughs> so uh, one of the things, I'll just quote uh, something that uh, our accelerator talks about a lot, Upeka. Uh, so one of the comments uh, that typically comes up is, uh, uh, what SaaS is today is it's uh, what IT services was in 1990. People don't realize it, mm. that uh, in the next 10 years, it's going to take a 10x leap and everything is going to be on software. You just can't avoid uh, not being on yeah. software. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's been proven largely right. Uh, and I think I think this is a great time to start up. I think this is a great time to, you know, for all the SaaS folks out there to like pick your path uh, that you know best. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think don't go just with the product. I think if you don't have the audience, if you don't know how to market, I think you might find it super tough uh, in this market. Yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, some founders are from a developer background, more technical. Some founders are like me. Oh, well, I'm not a SaaS founder, but some founders are more from a marketing background. Uh, nothing wrong with either one. But as you may know, uh, and I know, is that we have very different uh, ways of thinking, right? The way our minds work for a developer versus a marketer, very different. So, um, yeah, when, when we speak with a lot of SaaS founders that are technical or are developers, we run into some bottlenecks or... Uh, uh, some disagreements on how to proceed, right? Um, but yeah, thank you for that advice. It's, it's very good. Uh, and I hope everyone watching in takes that to heart, especially the SaaS founders, because some of them are, are going to be watching in right now. Or I hope so. <laughs> but all right. Okay. I think that's that's about it for today. But um, we're going to be doing more webinars with Abhishek and maybe even Dinesh. 
And I will also be playing around with more video forms because I, I, I have fun playing with it. So I'm, I'm going to try to come up with some use case videos, uh, some other walkthroughs, um, and also uh, hopefully by the end of the month or after using video form for a few weeks, we can provide a decent case study for you guys uh, at video form, but also the people that are watching in seeing that, hey, you know, in three or four weeks, we, we got uh, this, this, and this results, right? So I hope that's very inspirational and motivational for everyone watching in. All right. Um, yeah. If you haven't, if you didn't know, again, I'll say one more time, there is a freebie, exclusive freebie going on where you get access to three video forms for the rest of your life. And the annual discounts are heavily discounted. Um, you can check on our website, sessionautics.com slash video form. And if you have any other questions, make sure to leave them in the comments. Uh, and Abhishek, I think we'll be seeing you around. So if you have any last words for the audience, let us know. Hey, thanks, Jun. So thank you for uh, bringing uh, video form uh, to these communities. I think yeah. uh, it will be wonderful uh, value for them. It will be great for us to uh, see a lot of uh, feedback uh, from this community. Yes, absolutely. All right, Abhishek, thank you for taking your time and joining us on the call and presenting and showcasing video form. Uh, it's, very, it's been very, very helpful. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>